the moment we begin to fear the opinions of others and hesitate to tell the truth that is in us and from motives of policy are silent when we should speak the divine floods of light and life no longer flow into our souls woman's degradation is in man's idea of his sexual rights our religion laws customs are all founded on the belief that woman was made for man the Bible and the church have been the greatest stumbling block in the way of women's emancipation when we consider that women are treated as property it is degrading to women that we should treat our children as property to be disposed of as we see fit the happiest people I have known have been those who gave themselves no concern about their own souls but did their uttermost to mitigate the miseries of others when women understand that governments and religions are human inventions that Bibles prayer books catechisms and encyclical letters are all emanations from the brains of man they will no longer be oppressed by the injunctions that come to them with the divine authority of thus saith the Lord there is a solitude which each and every one of us has always carried with him more inaccessible than the ice-cold mountains more profound than the midnight sea the solitude of self our inner being which we call ourself no eye nor touch of man or angel has ever pierced men think that self-sacrifice is the most charming of all the cardinal virtues for women and in order to keep it in healthy working order they make opportunities for its illustration as often as possible that only a few under any circumstances protest against the injustice of long established laws and customs does this not disprove the fact of the oppressions while the satisfaction of the many if real only proves their apathy and deeper degradation it was just so in the American Revolution in 1776 the first delicacy the men threw overboard in Boston Harbor was the tea woman's favorite beverage the tobacco and whiskey though heavily taxed they clung to with the tenacity of the devil fish today the woman is mrs. Richard Rowe tomorrow mrs. John Doe and again mrs. James Smith according as she changes masters and she has so little self-respect that she does not see the insult of the custom love is the vital essence that pervades and permeates from the center to the circumference the graduating circles of all thought and action love is the talisman of human wheel and woe the open sesame to every soul put it down in capital letters self-development is a higher duty than self-sacrifice the thing that most retards and militates against women's self-development is self-sacrifice we come into this world alone unlike all who have gone before us nature never repeats herself and the possibilities of one human soul will never be found in another Paul in speaking of equality as the very soul and essence of Christianity said there is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither bond nor free there is neither male nor female for ye are all one in Christ Jesus how the little courtesies of life on the surface of society deemed so important from man towards woman fade into utter insignificance in view of the deeper tragedies in which she must play her part alone where no human aid is possible who I ask you can take dare take on himself the rights the duties the responsibilities of another human soul the Bible and the church have been the greatest stumbling block in the way of women's emancipation thanks for watching video subscribe our channel set motivation